I knew hey, you were this time. What up, dude? What's up, man? So hey. I, I had to pack my bags and whatnot. Um, I'm a little bit busy. I'm going to the Bahamas, so I thought. Uh... <laughs> hey, dude, listen, I got a bungalow on the beach. You can come and join me. I got a three day also. We'll crack open some Coronas. Me and you can just hang oh. out, pick our feet in the sand, bro. Yeah, I uh, I literally own property over there now because of how often I go there. <laughs> did you? Did you? See, so is it official you... or are you just assuming you're going? Well, I'm just assuming, but I mean, sometimes, you know, um, sometimes, you know, uh, I don't mind what the outcome is, you know, because I believe in something and I, bl I, I believe in seeing it through for better or for worse, you know, mm -hmm. that's kind of where I'm at right now, you know, um, I feel that Wait, wait, did you guys, did you guys look at, at full context? Cause there was a lot in there. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. we did action. Did. No, we didn't. We didn't get to see full context. I did. Oh, okay. I seen like you driving, getting scuffed, getting out, telling them like, yo, I need a minute, we're scuffed. And then them getting out, I saw from Adept's end, one of the ladies saying that like, uh, one of the officers saying that uh, you fuck say that you're scuffed all the time. So. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so the main issue, okay. So there's parts that I'm wrong. There's parts that they're wrong. And I think we can consolidate. And I think, I think the main problem that I have right now um, is that uh, with all them that we had, to talk about it and to, to ponder uh, about what we could do to, to fix things and make things better. Uh, there has been no efforts made to rectify the situation. And if anything, whenever we came down to the conclusion, it feels like there was an effort to make it worse. And I think that's the main point that, that, that I didn't, I ever didn't like. So the main, the, the, the main point, right, no. the main point that, that, um, okay, uh, that happened. I mean, did they need to shoot you there? Did they need to shoot your cars out? They didn't live, they didn't give you okay. a chance to drive away. Out at all okay yeah okay so so so, so that's that, that that's one of the main points that that uh, another thing are very important to the case is basically I believe I've been sub for the problem is now is that um Seems like yesterday I was watching you I understand that they can't they can't tell from their perspective on scene because they don't know shit for them on their POV they cut they cut mm -hmm. to my car right so I didn't mind at first that it was it was at, but but at the end of the day I robbed the cop you know so that's like shoot on site pretty much right of course but then they were kind of undecisive. They shot all over here and there. Um, so, th I mean, I'm, I, you guys both play cops, right? So you guys know that um, shooting, for, shooting from cars is a little bit inconsistent from one shift to another. Well, sometimes so I'll they tell shoot, you this. They don't. I'll yeah. tell you this. It's not I supposed was trained to, to never do it. Yeah, so whenever you're a cop, you're not supposed to shoot through the windshield unless your life is at immediate risk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Unless, unless shooting you. they think that you, like, you're shooting at them, so they have to shoot back. They should yeah, not that's shoot the out way of they their shoot car that. at all. Zero. Yeah. None. So, so that, that's how I've been doing on cop, is uh, never shoot from the windshield, unless it's in, like, an active, like, a one-to-one, -one, like, you're, you're, it's like a active gunfire where there's bullets going back and forth. Right? Exactly. So, uh, yeah. uh, you know, it annoys me that we had to go, we had to work so hard to become cops and to go through that extensive training and to learn this shit. And then and when you become a cop, you just throw matters. it out the window and nobody yeah. actually enforces it. Yeah. So, but I get that a uh, shift three does it more often. Uh, shooting from the window is actually really common uh, in chases. Uh, it, that, that, that's beside the point though. I'm not gonna sit here and say, oh my God, it's a small rule break or small inconsistent role play and act like, mm -hmm. like some weird, that's whatever. We can throw that out the window. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the, the main problem is, the main problem is that, um, um, I try to tell him in the OSC, right, that it was a major scuff, and we've been there for a while because, I mean, believe it or not, I mean, we were there for a while with the car because, um... Your car was scuffing out for like 20 to 30 seconds before the cops yeah. get close to yeah. it. And we were going 150 with Nas, right? So, like, I mean, we were out now. We were already talking about other stuff. We were already talking about, like, uh, about the future or the past, whatever. So, on, on, from our perspective, it, this scenario was over already. But then... Yep. I show up with my hands up, and I understand it's like, oh, you're supposed to shoot, shoot on site whenever somebody robs a cop. But they see me with my hands up, I get shot again, okay, whatever, moving on. Again, that's like an, a little roleplay thing, I'm not gonna fucking like be like an RP critic, it's not mm -hmm. my role. Okay. And then, and then, the problem that I have is that after watching the VOD, what, from, from my vehicle, everybody reads OC, and everybody heard me in the game, and they all communicated, right? One, one, they say, you know, uh, he always says that, okay, that's really bad. And then, the um, the main problem is, is after that, um, they know for a fact the timeline of the car being out and everything, and then they're like, "Dude, um, you're not le you're not letting him get away, or whatever, right? Like, yeah. you you're not." <laughs> and I'm like, I was watching Nevada. I'm like, "Well, that's really disappointing because now they know for a fact they have it. It's like um, it's like if somebody is on low ground with no guns in a BR, yet he has his fists, right? And then, <laughs> and then the game pauses." 
he goes on high ground with a rocket launcher and like, okay, we're ready to unpause the game, guys. And then it's like, it's like dude, I mean, it, it, it's just like... And kind I think, of a tough spot now. Well, yeah. that's the thing, right? So you had distance. You were almost away before Scuff happened. Scuff happens. Now there's five cops on you and a fucking bike. There's no way of you getting away whatsoever. And then yet they still capitalize. I've always said that. The capitalization on like those type of scenarios fucking yeah. suck. Man. And it's been happening a Bro. lot. Uh, Vader is there, but it was an OC Discord. Talking about uh, how it's been happening like so often that he couldn't like sit there and say nothing. And we, there was like a big debate in OC Discord. Where everyone was talking about how uh, um, lately the server's been scuffing in a lot of ways with like invisible cars and whatnot. And it's a tuner shop, yeah. And in a lot of ways, um, uh, it seems like cops are capitalizing on the server breaking. And uh, it seems like there's, like there's like no end to it, right? Because the, the quote unquote roll with it is worse now than it's ever been. Yeah, but I, I don't think people understand that um, I, get, I get it. It happens when there's a scuff with police and there's a scuff with criminals, it goes both ways, right? But whenever there's eight CPIs, right? Uh, if there's a scuff, there's another car. If there's a scuff, there's another car. There's a, and, and, and whenever they, they lose, it's not a big of a deal. But for us, it's like... Yeah, they... Yeah. For us, it's two hours or an hour, you know what I mean? Yeah. Sometimes get, I was going to get the nines. Like, I, I was getting the nines 100%. All right. So, for, for us, it's like, it's like the end of the world, right? So, it's like... um. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, them uh, saying, oh, shoot. And, oh, wow, well, you guys didn't shoot. I'm going to shoot. And it's like, more shooting, more shooting. And then it's like, um, and then it's all rifles, always rifles, all the time, never pistols. There's uh, no chance we have whenever the bullets start flying. They know that, especially if there's a lot of them in the situation. Yeah. 100%, bro. And then the cars you're, you're get disabled right, all the time. Uh, it's happened so often where the car just completely stops. But then, but then all that aside, this is still like uh, manageable, right? We're still at a point where like it's not all over. We can still like make something decent of this. And then, and then comes like I think I think I personally think the worst part. Where it's like um, I, I, I go into sales or whatever, and then uh, I'm I'm being given like deals or whatnot. I'm like, I'm like guys, and then uh, one of the officers says that oh yeah we would have never we would have never caught you. and they, they admit they would have never caught me, and then I'm like okay well in that case uh, I personally think I personally think uh, we can like salvage this either we kind of like RP like um like the main crime. And no, and no, like guns taken and or whatever. Make them catch you again. Yeah. Yeah. They like I get caught for the crime, but then nothing that that um none none of like the guns or whatever. So the rule play is still there, but the mass consequences aren't because it doesn't make sense. I go to jail, whatever. I, I get a but not but then and then it starts stacking it, and then, um and then they start giving me like deals or whatever, and I'm like, dude, if you're gonna give me a deal, right, to fix the scuff, I mean technically there was two of us. There's me and Alex. Technically. If you were to, if you were to, uh, to give me you, all, you take you both. Yeah, to, if you're gonna give me all charges, I mean, might as well just de scup the whole thing, make the guy come to MRPD, and we're going for all the things, right? Or none. That's my perspective. Because why would I be given? Why would I accept a deal where they choose, they pick and choose what maintain a role play and what scuffed, right? Because it, it was all scuffed because we were out, right? My mm -hmm. body was out with all all the guns, all the whatever. I mean, you couldn't even communicate with your guy. He was like randomly talking. Yeah. You know what I mean? Saying he was fucked and like he didn't even know what he was seeing. Yeah. So, at at that point, I, I, I'm at the point where like people were like, "Oh, yo, take the deal, take the deal. I'm giving you a deal. I'm giving you fair treatment." I'm like, "Well, I'm not going to take a deal because then it means that I I acknowledge it's like principle." Yeah. Exactly. Now I approve of what they're doing, and that I accept what I'm being given. And exactly. I choose their nitpicking or their 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 cherry picking of the scenario. And I'm like, well, well, no, I want to do this all the way, all the way, all the way uh, A or B. I want to be in the middle, right? And mm -hmm. then and then and then everything unleashed. Oh, dude, you're getting 300 months plus. We're <laughs> we're going to raid uh, your uh, your vehicle that has explosives. And then then they're gonna do weapons trafficking plus probably terrorism order because the gun is linked to a bombing or some bullshit. And then uh, raid the apartment, lose 1.1 million or whatever, and it and it's like and then it's, it's the nines. So they didn't they didn't give a fuck about your scuff, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were like scuff, nah, bro. We're just that good. Get the fuck out of here. You did yeah. scuff. That's the main problem though. Is that we had ways out after we had like an hour and a half to find a way out that makes sense in, in RP, right? But it doesn't fuck everybody over. But the problem is the main problem is is that at that point. How hard is it to retcon everything if it was hard scuff? 
do they do they make every officer that that raided the um the, the fucking the the bobcat car the escort the people on scene people who documented the people who made the reports does everybody retcon and then i can start getting refunds and items back from devs like what the fuck do we like it's a it's such a disaster right and it's so un, it's so avoidable at that point and it seemed like it seemed like nobody wanted to uh, to avoid it because then you would be probably thrown under the, under the rug or whatever and I think that's the main point where I got frustrated. And that's when I decided to alt F4. I was like, you know what? You know what? I would rather deal with the consequences that come that come with this than um, going in for the nines and some bullshit after three hours of fucking hard molding of everybody's getting raided and then spending a week making people retcon and getting all the items back. To me, it, it seemed more... Um, uh, 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 not really rational. It was just emotional and stupid. I, I, I would do it again, but just because... Um, just because of, of how I, I see the scenario, but uh, uh, I mean, yes, but I, I don't mind your I don't mind your FA quit there. I don't either. Really? Because I, I, was, I was I was pissed obviously that um, after hearing everything, to be honest with you, after the, after I heard, like as soon as the word scuff starts to get thrown around, right? How the fuck are you gonna bring it to the I'm gonna raid you card? How the also, how, does how it the get fuck there? are you going to say? Fuck him, he says it all the time. Like, yeah, how does what? that work? Like, how is that not OOC, bro? That's Jesus. OOC as fuck. Jesus. Listen, I'll say this. I've never, I said this on stream, I've never seen an entire tsunami of cops hate someone the way I see them hate you. Like, it's actually- Bro, no, they just I hate saw... criminals, and yeah, they love the dub more than any other cops I've seen on in Shift 3. You know the crazy thing? Dude, they'll thing I... they were bragging to me in the cell about how nobody escapes them, bro, and about yeah. how they're not used to having anybody fucking dip on them. Jesus. You know what's crazy to me, X, uh, X is that whenever uh, you were running on that bike and he got on the bike and EMP'd it underneath him, um, that was some crazy shit whenever I saw that. I've never, I never even thought a cop would ever even come close Yeah, to I mean, they were headshotting their own officers over and over and over again. Like, it was just weird, me being on a bike and seeing other officers being headshot by like a big ass bulb of energy. I was like, what is happening? Like, I, if it looks like some sci-fi movie or something. Hey, I, X, look in the, uh, look in the Discord, uh, on this Discord, and, and look at the clip I posted. That's what I got banned for, by the way. That's what I'm sitting a three-day ban out for right now. Right now? Yeah, yeah. I just, I literally just got banned, uh, like, 5 a.m., 4 a.m. We were playing Valorant, and I got the ban. Who the fuck in that race just thought it was a good idea to fucking stop mag-dumping people? Well, I'm sorry, brother, man. That yeah. fucking sucks, dude. That's yeah. so... Man. Yeah, well, nobody wants to. Uh, nobody wants to have a quit. Nobody wants to do any of this yeah. bullshit. Nobody, nobody wants to do that. Like, I hope people understand no that. Problem. Nobody wants these conclusions or these scenarios to, ha to happen like that. And um, and me? I, I, I don't know. Like, so, wait, what's even happening here? So I got crashed out by this guy in a race. I go to rob him. He's slumping and he won't stop slumping. I start reversing. The guy takes out a gun on me. So I take my AK out that he obviously saw I already had out. And he ends up not putting away his legal firearm. So I shoot him and I drive off. I don't rob him. I don't do anything. And I got three days Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait, hold up. This makes no sense at all. Wait, I don't want to say too much about this, but I actually had, um, whenever I had, um, wait, this is crazy. Hold up. <laughs> okay, no, no, I, I have something similar that happened. Um, so basically, one day uh, on one of my first bans, what happened is that um, they were telling me they they tell me all the reasons why I was banned, right? And one of them was that um, I, I mean, amongst other things, um, I I got held up by some guy at the, at, at a parking lot, right? And I, put, I had my hands up, and then um, as soon as the guy went back into the car, uh, I put my gun out and and I, I went after him and, and I and then I shot the vehicle as it was. When, and, and they were saying that um, it doesn't make sense and I shouldn't, as soon as I get held up, get a gun out and fire at him, right? Like, I got held up, right? Exactly. And that, I, that's what I, I thought. And I, exactly. And I should never do that, where uh, uh, immediately retaliate as me held up. But in this clip, like, I don't I understand. have an AK, bro. Yeah, the I guy's have a wrong. AK, bro. And he has a pistol. In what world? And I, and the worst part about it is I would have never put the AK away if the mechanics didn't let me. Yeah, exactly. Have to put it away to put him in the car. The only reason the AK ever got put away was so that I could put him in the car, which is like that's the only way you can do it. You can't put it. You can't put yep. him in the car with a gun out. So All I right, listen, Hutch. You think you can hold an AK and drag a dead body into your car with one arm while holding well, your AK on the other side? Is, what we'll I'm see saying it. is, is if that if that's the logic, right? Like I can't, like mechanically, I can't do it, 
right? Yeah. If you do it with a pistol, you should be able to do it with, with the fucking AK. Okay, so hold it to the side. This is another problem, I think, in a role play overall, is when sometimes you you have to do things fast, but for them, it's the things that make sense, you have to slow everything down, right? Like, you would have to say, okay, um, I'm gonna hold the gun up, I'm slowly putting him in the car. At that point, police is coming, alerts are given, uh, people are coming. You know, it's like, okay, yep. I'm, I'm moving him slowly, I'm putting, and then nothing makes sense. And then you're just getting, you're getting fucked because of mechanical limitations. People need to understand mechanical limitations all the time because we have to work with this. It's so, it's and so I didn't even bad. And I didn't even want to escort him. I just wanted to rob him. But he's slumping and I thought he was downed and scuffed because if you saw in the earlier Yeah, like he's not escorting clip, Dude, he got absolutely fucking launched. I thought this guy flew out of his car and died. And I didn't understand that he was just slumping and not he wasn't down. I was just trying to rob him. I didn't even want to take him. And then I ended up taking this guy, robbing him, and letting him go. Didn't shoot him. And then this guy, who I did shoot, he's right next to EMS. It's, he literally is five minutes of his time that he just went down, went to the pillbox, got pot up, and then he's done. And yeah, I, and I, I, like I said, days. I do not agree with uh, as soon as their gun goes down, you pull your gun out. It, it, in role play, doesn't make sense. It never makes sense, something like that. Uh, I mean, people can, people can argue about my RP critic of this. But, but uh, after I was told, I thought it was almost like a rule. Um, I thought it was a rule that, that you shouldn't instantly uh, I did too. Draw, draw a gun as soon as the gun is not out anymore. So then it's like, what, what is this, like some far west, like a looky Luke, like bullshit where everybody just like quick draws their gun like fucking McCree? Yeah, but, uh, yeah well, even 100%. if it's not a rule, it should be just an etiquette. Yeah, it should be well, etiquette. I mean, exactly. Because, because then, in, in the car, you do have your gun out. You do have it. You still have your gun out. You, you're still yeah. under threat. You're not like, you're not like free of, oh my god, it, the guy's in the car, it's over, guys. Like, it doesn't, it's and not it's like not that. it's not like I was 100% stationary. Like, I got in my car and I was already leaving the scene when he pulled his gun out. Like, it wasn't even like I was sitting there, he had his gun out, and then I decided. I was already reversing in the clip. I was leaving, and then he pulled his gun out and pointed at me. I, yeah. I see cops all how many times X have you held up a cop at gunpoint and him just reverse away from you in the car? So many times you have no idea. I I, exactly. I, I don't want I don't want to be listen, I'm not gonna throw people under the bus, but I've even had a rundown with an admin doing that in in the past. And that that's that's fine because the likeness My, they're gonna hit the shot is mm -hmm. it's incredibly unlikely. Yeah, it shouldn't happen if you have your gun out. It's kind of a, like a gray line, the reversal. It's kind of a great line. I kind of think, uh, I, I think if you're in a car, you're okay, and l unless you're at their window. If you're at their window, they shouldn't be driving yep. off. But if you're like any place around their vehicle or away from their window, I think they drive the fuck off because that's what I would do in real life. Yeah, Chad, uh, yeah. Can you guys put the Toretti clip in, in one of the chats also, please? So just so he can see the same the same thing. Literally, this this exact same situation X happened today. Like this, literally this Sudavi. Like I, I'll, I'll show it to you. Give me one second. Well, I, it, this is why I think, like, um, yeah, I, I don't know about shit like this, though. Like, so what was the, what was, what was the, what was the, uh, the rule break that, that, that did it? Like, what was the actual they reason? They didn't tell me. They didn't tell me. They just said three days and ten points. Ten points. There, I just posted it in the, uh, in the, in the Discord again. Yeah. Just watch it from that point, you'll be able to see it. But literally, the exact same situation, in my opinion, even worse. Right, but we don't report shit. So this, like, this won't result in a ban because okay. we don't report anything. So you want me to be honest with you? Uh, here's how I've been operating, and I kind of feel bad about I've been doing it this way, is that um, I, I, I've, I stream a variety in other games. I don't need RP. I like RP. Right. Agreed. If right, if anything, if anything, uh, uh, people like RP less on my stream than, than other games, but I like it. So whenever I report somebody, I feel like I'm, I'm like fucking them over. Like their their livelihood, their life structure. I think 100%. Like, right? So I end up not reporting it. When there's so many things that can be reported. I even had admins in the past watch my stream and said, you should report that. And I end up giving them say, I'm not going to report that. I want to have a conversation with them so for them not to do it again. And if they don't like me or some reason, they can tell me why. And I didn't report them because it fucks them over. But then, but then, but then, I mean, I, I don't really talk about this very much, but I sometimes get reports. On the docket, you know, like the, the private docket with the yeah. no faces, and I go, I, I go defend myself against a bunch of reports, and you know, one previously that uh, that I, I I actually I'm pretty sure I won my case. There was uh, two reports. I'm pretty sure I won both of them uh, lately, and it's like I don't report because I think it fucks them over. All we want is for things to get better, and whenever there's a small thing like you just did, 
it's like, okay, I get it. How hard would it be for that guy to go and hunt me down and shoot me up as a retaliation? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. why wouldn't why wouldn't you just find me and then shoot me up? I just shot you, so come and shoot me. Like, isn't that GTA? Yeah. And, and if, if, if this is a problem, everybody can talk about it. It's not like a clear cut, like black on white rule break insta like, oh yeah, that that's bad. Like some like doing an epic quit. That, see that that's a, that's a clear cut black on white. Uh, but <laughs> but see it's it's not it's not like that. So but it's uh, the context that came behind that also. Yeah. So, so it's a, I I, I kind of wish that it wasn't like oh because otherwise we'd be filing reports. All, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Exactly. So many rules get broken every day. I'm pretty sure we break like 20 rules a day just because of like dude. There are rules like don't speed in the city if you don't have an incentive to speed. Did you know that? You know that, 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 that yes, there are a lot 2. of rules. Oh, so I'll, I'll give you the basis behind that. In 2.0, the admins, they basically told everyone, like, and, and it, was a it was a real thing. They told everyone that if you are going 120 miles an hour through the city and it's for no reason to expect to be punished for it, like bans and, uh, you know, one days and et cetera. So everyone was literally setting speed limiters at 50 miles an hour as they were cruising through the city every single day. Real story, oh, real talk, 100% a thing. So yes, in 2.0, they 100% made a legitimate admin rule that you would have to um, go a reasonable speed in the city or you would be banned or have They were sick of people slamming through. Well, it was because people were going through, like passing, because that's what, you know, the old courthouse was right in the middle of the city. So judges or doctors and other people would just be getting fucking demolished in the road. Yeah, and although true. it was funny, they were like speed limit, fifty miles an hour. If you don't do it, you're fucking getting you're getting sent out of here. Damn. Yeah. So uh, I think uh, in 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 the game and in overall, people break a lot of rules, and it seems like things get enforced kind kind of weirdly. And sometimes you could just have a, a I I generally think a conversation actually goes a longer way than a ban. But I'm super biased about this. But from from my perspective, my talks are much much better. Then just straight up, uh, uh, like you're clapped or whatever. Just because sometimes it's not that big of a deal or whatever, and a lot of rules get get broken, you should be punished for, and you don't. And then a small thing you do, and it's like, ah, uh, like I don't know, man. It, it 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 doesn't feel right, and I don't think it helps anybody. I genuinely think it doesn't serve the server well, and doesn't help anybody. Like, so many things. Do they do they really uh, further? Just like whenever um, like uh. It's a little bit like, we know we're about to go to jail and, and they're putting for more months and you're getting like, instead of like 100, like they're going like, they're pressing really hard for 150, for the same charges. And like, yo dude, like 150, I'm turning, I'm turning my stream off. Like 100, you can still recover. And like, no, 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 it's 150. It's like, okay, I get it. You have, you have to do the, yeah, you, you have to punish or whatever. But I don't think it serves, it serves anybody and it doesn't mm -hmm. create anything. At, or whenever you go to court and you're like, can I just get like, you know some time off they're like okay you've just spent in court for an hour and a half you were in the jail cells for another 45 minutes you were down for another 15 to 20 minutes and all yeah. the processing and bullshit getting you to mrpd took another 15 we'll give you 10 months off because you wanted the court case it's like bro we're, we're on both sides there's content that's being provided like exactly. why are you upset that i took you to court and gave you awesome and free content but now you're punishing me with sitting in prison. Yeah. And yes. so now that you're out of yes. my court case, uh, can you please go to jail for a fucking another hour? And yes. Go, Finally. So now, go so now I got to go through all the bullshit, all the, all the detainment, all of the court case, everything like that, because I was confused and I wanted to know more information on what just happened. And then on top of that, I'm going to be in, in jail for two hours. See that, that, that's something that I've been saying that a lot of people, a lot of people I, I feel like don't, aren't really connecting with it. It's, it's this exact notion is that I we do a crazy chase, a crazy thing. They all chase, they all do comms, high music, crazy, bing bang. We get chased for 30 minutes, it's insane. Everybody's having a good time. And at the end of the day, when it comes down to like sentencing, you know, we did all the lengths of the RP, of the of the down, of the hospital, of the court order. It's like, yo, yo, dude, listen, you could give me like, you don't want to be lenient. You could just take a little bit of months off, right? Like, even a 30% a, a off, whatever, and like, no, it's it's a max. And it's, it's like, okay, it's like we can all enjoy it. Oh, but at the end, nah, you like, it doesn't create anything. I don't think it helps anybody. Like, you, a lot of times you don't have to turn your stream off. Like, I, 
I don't like this 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 effect of like oh yeah it's doing a stream off like you you have to you have to go offline. Let's be honest. If it's three a.m. and you're going to jail for two hundred months, your stream is offline. You're done. You're done. Yeah. yeah, bro. I've never quit this game more times than when I just get thrown in jail. Wait, did that? I was watching what you were just watching. X. Did that cop run away from you at, right after you took his guns? Like uh, I I I I told him to drop everything and I told him to run in a straight line northbound, um, without ever stopping. Um, just a straight line, I would shoot him, and, but, I mean, when I used to give him instructions, they, they don't really listen. They, see, right there, he kind of stopped and he talked stopped. to the other bro, officer. because that's your, a criminal, dude, and they're the fucking big bad policeman, bro. They're powerful. You can't talk to them. Yeah, I, this is something I have a lot of problems with in the past. Um, I'll, I'll stop a cop over, right? I'll stop a cop, and I'll try to give instructions as fast as possible, right? I, I've, I've, I've practiced the script of saying it fast, like, okay, Drop radio, drop phone, drop every little firearm we have on you right now, and run northbound in a straight line, <laughs> right? Because otherwise, you go, oh, the gun? You mean this one? And or slow you it mean down so the other cops? Yeah, can come by. and then they yeah, catch yeah, yeah. up and you fucking die, right? Yeah. So it's and it's why I, I, I think sometimes even though it makes the cop take an L, I wish they took the instructions to heart and they just listened to him because I mean I could shoot them, I have the gun on them, I could clap them, you know? Like look at this guy. I told him to run in a straight line northbound and never stop, right? If you look at my screen right now. And, yeah, yeah, and he keeps there. going. And, and the guy doesn't. He just... He, he just, stops he when just, the cop is there. The cop is there, he just hooks back and there's a 180. And it's like, dude, I mean, at that point, I mean, if I shoot, I mean, I'm dying in the game, but he knows that, it's why he's doing it. Otherwise, he would have kept running because otherwise, I mean, he would have died. So it's uh, something that kind of upsets me also, but I'm, I'm not going to be too crazy about it. I don't know. It's, yeah, it is what it is. He has cover? No, I mean, don't, don't, yeah, don't, don't, don't press like a fucking, yeah, okay, well, that was the healthy talk, boys, um, yeah, I'm, I'm doing some uh, bullshit today, I'm about to go watch a Nintendo event, so, um, <laughs> oh, no shit, right. good luck, we're okay. about to just, going, uh, get a little Vividy Valor in, yeah, yeah, well, thanks for talking, guys, I'll, uh, I'll see you some other time, I'll send a flip, bye, yeah, see you, bro, All right, mate, take bye. care, guys, excuse me, Well, that was fine.